bowl game predictions. We're diving in deep. What are the options for the Minnesota Golden Gophers? We're touching on them all today on Locked On Golden Gophers. Let's go bowling. You are no Locked On happens, Golden Gophers. No matter what we're going to do here, we're just going to keep rowing. Your daily podcast on the Minnesota uh, Golden out, Gophers. Whatever it turns out, we're just going to keep rowing. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network. Your team every day. We're just going to keep rowing, keep rowing, and keep rowing. You're listening to Locked On Golden Gophers, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. My name's Kane Robb, host of the podcast, former collegiate football video coordinator and recruiting assistant here to talk Golden Gophers with you each and every day of the week, Monday through Friday. So be sure to hit subscribe on YouTube. We're building that community up. I'm loving the comments. I'm loving the interactions. And I want to know what you want to hear about this offseason. If you want to talk a whole bunch of basketball, a whole bunch of hockey. If you want all the latest and greatest when it comes to recruiting, transfer portal, let me know what you want to discuss. Topics at hand, even if it's about the football team for next season. Drop those in the comments below, and I appreciate you following the show. Be sure to follow wherever you get your podcasts, and thank you again for making us your first listen when it comes to Gophers Daily Sports. Now, like I said, today, We're going bowling. We're talking about all the options and the Big Ten bowl choices of where the Big Ten schools could go in the bowl or in the bowl games are as follows. Now, one and potentially option two is the Rose Bowl. And then the Orange Bowl is an option, an option open to either the a Big Ten school getting selected, an SEC school getting selected or Notre Dame could get selected there as well against an ACC school. So those are the top two bowls that a Big Ten school can represent outside of the playoffs. Now, after that, you have the Citrus Bowl, which would have the third selection or the third choice of what Big Ten school it wants to choose to come to its bowl. Then you have Music City. Then you have Pinstripe. Then you have Duke's Mayo. Then you have Guaranteed Rate. And then you have Quick Lane. In that order, that's eight options, potentially eight options, um, for the Big Ten bowl choices. Now... Uh, article I was reading uh, that predicted its predictions on which Big Ten schools would go to what, it had the following. It had Ohio State going to the either the Rose Bowl or the Orange Bowl, Penn State going to either the Rose Bowl or the Orange Bowl, and then the Citrus Bowl being Purdue, Music City being Iowa, <laughs> Minnesota coming in at the Pinstripe Bowl, Dukes Mayo being Maryland, Phoenix or guaranteed rate bowl being Illinois and then quick lane being Wisconsin. Now, one thing I'll quickly say about these bowls as well is that where they're located. So the citrus bowl is in Orlando music City is in Nashville pinstripe is in New York Duke's Mayo is in Charlotte guaranteed rate is in Phoenix. And then lastly, the quick lane bowl is in Detroit. So I've seen anything from Minnesota as far as the pinstripe versus Syracuse. Meh. Don't care too much about it. I mean, it's fine. Duke's Mayo versus North Carolina State. It's a little better. It's more intriguing. It's who doesn't want to see Mayo get dumped on PJ Fleck if the Gophers can pull out the win. And then Music City versus Old Miss. Now that that's a bowl game. That's something I love. That's a top defense in the nation versus a high flying offense in the nation. That could be some fun. That could be. Very interesting. SEC versus Big Ten. The battle of the conferences that the people like to claim as the best two in the nation. That could be some fun stuff, but I want to break it down even further for y'all. I want to talk about every possible option for the Gophers, how it could play out, what bowl games are basically out of reasoning and what bowl games are on the table. And then I want to dive into all the different varieties of opponents that the Gophers could face. So, you know, every bit of information when it comes to the bowl game. Now, something to keep in mind as we move forward in the bowl games too, is we don't fully know what's going to happen with the players that were set as seniors or the players that are looking to go pro. If they're going to play in this bowl game, will Mo play? Will Tyler Newbin play? 
I'm going to guess probably not on Tyler Newbin with his broken hand and getting ready for potentially going to the pros. So he's one I'll maybe assume isn't going to play in this bowl game. But guys like Jordan Howden, guys like Sorry, Marin, guys like Mo, like I said, will they play in the bowl game? That's a big question. Something we'll stay tuned to and definitely keep you posted on. But let's jump into some realistic options of the bowl games that the Gophers could go to. But first, let's talk about our friends over at Bet Online. Bet Online is where you can get your latest and greatest sports information when it comes to sports betting, the latest trends and actions. They've got coverage from all of the major sports, professional sports, and amateur sports, soccer, hockey, football, basketball, you name it, esports even. They've got it all. In fact, I looked at their college football playoff odds and actually the odds for an NCAA championship winner in 2023 that are current right now, odds for right now. And it's interesting. You got Georgia one. Okay. You've got Michigan two. Okay. Top two seeds. Makes sense. You've got Ohio State at number three over TCU, over USC, who are both in the playoff as it currently proceeds. And the odds, Ohio State's at plus 950, TCU's at plus 1100, and USC's at plus 1100. So, decent odds better than those two schools. It's definitely interesting, definitely something to keep an eye on. The only other school with odds is Alabama at plus 5500. So, definitely not looking good for Bama there, but definitely interesting to see Ohio State favored over those two other schools. And it's going to be a wild ride this weekend. It's going to be a wild ride. But we're not talking about the college football playoffs for the Gophers. We're not talking about that. But you can figure out the odds and the latest and greatest information, again, when it comes to sports betting over at Bet Online, where the game starts. Now, like I said, we're not talking about the Gophers when it comes to the college football playoff. Hopefully one day we could. Hopefully one day when it expands to 12, our odds might get a little better in the great years that are to come. But this year we're talking about what realistically could happen for the Gophers. And I think that's one of four options. I think you take out the Citrus Bowl. I don't think that there's any chance the Gophers are going to that. And then I think you take out the Quick Lane Bowl. Very, very tiny, very minute, slim odds that the Gophers would go to Quick Lane. So that leaves you with four bowl games, Music City, Pinstripe, Duke's Mayo, and the Guaranteed Rate Bowl. Now, how would it break down? Now, Music City, you play versus an SEC opponent. Pinstripe, you play versus an ACC opponent. Duke's Mayo, you play against an ACC opponent. And then Guaranteed Rate, you play against a Big 12 opponent. So that's kind of how it looks as far as what team or conference the Gophers would play against. But if if Ohio State sneaks into the playoff, like we were just talking about with those odds, with a USC loss, then you likely see Penn State go to the Rose Bowl. You likely see Purdue go to the Citrus Bowl. And then you'd probably see an SEC school in the Orange Bowl. So it doesn't shake up too much from what the expectation is. Now, the only way that Purdue goes to the Rose Bowl is if they win versus Michigan this weekend in the conference championship game. They do that. That's an automatic bid to the Rose Bowl. And I don't see that happening, but it's a possibility. Anything can happen in college football on any given Saturday. It's probably a lower chance, but right now, even if that happened, I think overall you see Purdue and Penn State take up either the Rose Bowl or the Citrus Bowl. If Ohio State doesn't make the playoffs, they likely go to the Orange Bowl, in my opinion, because you don't want to put Ohio State in the Rose Bowl back-to-back. And Utah is another projected school that could go to the Rose Bowl. You don't want to see Ohio State and Utah back-to-back. You want new blood. You want new life. You want the fan bases to feel like, oh, we have to travel to this because we might not be back here again in who knows how long. That is a factor in these decisions. So I think Ohio State goes through Orange Bowl if they do not make the college football playoffs. So, again, that leaves those four bowl games that I was talking about, and that leaves, in my opinion, Iowa, Minnesota, and Illinois for the Music City Bowl. The Music City Bowl versus an SEC opponent in Nashville. Now, these committees are going to probably heavily consider which teams are going to travel best, which teams' fans are going to show up, show out, 
for the city, for the bowl, for the revenue that these bowl games can generate. And they're going to consider that pretty heavily, along with then looking at the head to head matchups, the bigger named players, who is deemed as better. It's it's really a crapshoot from crapshoot from that point. But I think the heaviest rated thing is going to be when the Bulls are selecting which big team, 10 team they want to come. It's going to be how teams travel. And so from that, I think that that narrows the Nashville, the Music City Bowl down to Iowa in Minnesota, if I'm being 100 percent honest with you. And honestly, I think. I was probably the choice who's historically year after year being such a college town, a heavy college city with no other pro sports in town. Basically, Iowa Hawkeyes being their pro sport. I think they get chosen for the Nashville Music City Bowl because how well they would travel because they beat Minnesota head to head because the records were basically the same out here. So I think overall you see Iowa go to the Music City Bowl. So then that moves you down to the next choice available for bowl games would be Pinstripe picking its Big Ten selection. Now, again, I think it comes down to the Gophers. I think it comes down to Maryland is in the conversation, and I think Illinois is in the conversation as well. For similar reasons, again, traveling, I think it comes down to the Gophers in Maryland. Illinois hasn't shown to travel really well, especially in a year that they did so well. They were in the running for the Big Ten competition. Heck, even their own home games have been difficult to sell out and get the attention for. It's It's been tough over there in Illinois to get love from the fans. So I think overall you're looking at Minnesota, you're looking at Maryland in this pinstripe bowl. And I think that this one is the really interesting choice. You could see the Gophers get picked here. I know a lot of people are picking them here, but I honestly think Maryland might be the choice when it comes to the Pinstripe Bowl because of location. Maryland is closer to New York, which means their fans don't have to travel as far, and they might show up and show out due to the success that Maryland had this year in being bowl game eligible. I think that's definitely something to consider, and... I think being closer and being an easier place for them to travel might be the reason to select them over Minnesota. Now, I also kind of hope that Maryland's the choice here because I think more more fans could come, like I said, but also you want to see the Gophers go somewhere warm so that way our fans want to travel even more so. And the next two games are the ones that I think could be the most likely for the Gophers. Dukes, Mayo, and Guaranteed Rate. Now, I think these two bowl games are between Minnesota and Illinois. Now, how do you decipher it? Again, it's going to be a crapshoot. At this point, it's going to be a crapshoot. But I think with Minnesota traveling better, with Dukes, Mayo choosing first, I think that Dukes, Mayo would choose Minnesota over Illinois. So then you got Dukes, Mayo for Minnesota, guaranteed rate for Illinois, and then Wisconsin going to the quick lane bowl in Detroit with the worst record, with a lot of things up in the air, with players that might not even play in the bowl game because they could transfer, they could not just be leaving. There's all sorts of turmoil and disruption in Wisconsin right now. And I think with the lower record and with an offseason, they'll probably be in that quick lane bowl, even with good traveling fans. So that's where we're at as far as the bowl games and how it all shakes out, how these teams get selected. It is that choice order when it comes to the Big Ten. Now, most likely, in my opinion, you got OSU to the Orange Bowl, like I said, PSU to the Rose Bowl. You got Purdue in the Citrus Bowl, Iowa Iowa in the Music City Bowl. And then I think it comes down to Maryland and Minnesota in the Pinstripe, Minnesota, Maryland, and Illinois in the Dukes Mail. And then Maryland and Illinois in the guaranteed rate with Wisconsin coming in at the quick lane bowl. Now, we've talked about all that. So who could be the opponents, the most likely opponents for the Gophers in these bowl games? We're going to talk about that coming up next. All right, Gopher fans, thank you so much for listening to Lockdown Golden Gophers and making us your first listen when it comes to Gophers Daily Sports. I truly appreciate it. I love the interaction. And if you haven't yet, please hit subscribe down in on YouTube. Hit subscribe so you're part of the, the team, part of the crew, part of the community. 
and drop a comment down below on what bowl game you prefer or what opponent, what conference you want to play against in the bowl game. Now, the choices are most likely ACC, SEC, or Big 12. Those are basically your only choices when it comes to the Gophers' opponents for this bowl game. So what conference would you prefer to play? Let's talk about the options in each conference so you can have a better idea. Now, the ACC is in two of those four best most likely bowl game options for Minnesota. So the ACC is probably the most likely type of opponent for the Gophers. Now, in both of these ACC bowls, the pinstripe and the, I'm tripping right now, uh, Duke's Mayo. The pinstripe and the Duke's Mayo, both ACC opponents, they would pick fifth through seventh, not necessarily a specified order as much as the Big Tens is. It's more categorized, but... They would be the 5th through 7th in both of these games. So you're not going to see a Clemson. You're not going to see a North Carolina. You're not going to see a Florida State. All three of those are going to completely be off the table. And Notre Dame can eat up an ACC slot when it comes to bowl game representation. So I don't think you're going to see a Notre Dame either. Those four are the four that you're probably not going to see. Again, that's Clemson, UNC, Florida State, or Notre Dame. So that leaves you... At the top of the ACC conference, Syracuse, Pitt, Duke, North Carolina State as the likely options in that range. I also think you can take into consideration Wakeville and Louisville. They both have a case, but likely Syracuse, Pitt, Duke, and North Carolina State are probably the most likely outcomes. So overall, you got to think about who you want to see there. Pitt has... Um, a running back that is out of this world, really good, led the nation in touchdowns, had one more touchdown rushing than Mo Ibrahim did. Will either of them play in the bowl game? That's a huge question and something the committee will probably take into consideration. Syracuse also has a really good running back. Duke uh, has been all over the place. They've had a pretty good passing game this year. And then North Carolina State has Devin Leary at quarterback, which people were really hyped on him heading into the season. Definitely calmed down on him a bit, but their defense is really rock solid. The Wolfpack shows out in most cases. So all those options, pretty good overall. I'd love to see Sam Hartman of Wake Forest play the Gophers, but I don't think it'll happen. Then you move on to the Big 12 choices. So you get the sixth choice of Big 12 choices when it comes to the bowl game options in the guaranteed rate. So I think you can rule out Texas. You can rule out Oklahoma State. You can rule out OU simply from how they travel and how rabid that fan base will go. So I think all three of those are off the table. Then you've got TCU and K Kansas State in the bigger games, either the playoffs or whatever, the uh, New Year's Six Bulls. So those two are out. So then that leaves you with Baylor, Kansas, and Texas Tech as the most likely when it comes to the Big 12. I think in this situation, you probably see a Baylor or Kansas to be 100% real with you. So Big 12 options, Baylor, Kansas, Texas Tech. And then finally, the SEC, which is a complete crapshoot. A lot of their selections, as far as the choice of the Bulls, it lists them as three through eight, which is a wide variety, and you don't know who gets to pick first. So rule out Bama, rule out Tennessee, rule out LSU most likely. That likely means you're looking at a South Carolina, which could be fun against Spencer Rattler. Uh, you're looking at Ole Miss, which could be really fun. Link Kiffin coach team, Jackson Dart, Quinchon Judkins at running back. They're a really nice, high-powered offense. And then Mississippi State with Will Rogers, the quarterback who's just been slinging that thing over the last few years. Kentucky, Will Levis would be fun, but I don't know if he'll play in the bowl game. Florida, again, Anthony Richardson could be fun. Who knows if he's going to make the jump to the NFL or not, which means he could not play in the bowl game. And then finally, Mizzou is another option in the SEC. Lots of options there. Would love to see the Gophers take on South Carolina or Ole Miss or even Mississippi State with all of their high-powered offenses to really test out this defense that people say, oh, it's only top because you played lower opponents or you've only played Big Ten opponents. Nah, I'm not here for that. I'm not here for that. This defense is legit, and it's been legit under uh, Joe Rossi for the past few years. Top 10, top 15 for the past two years back to back in a good defense overall and improving heavily, heavily, heavily under Joe Rossi each year. So I don't want to hear all that. And I'm ready for the Gophers to prove it. So what is the final prediction here? What are we thinking? 
I'm thinking the Gophers play an ACC opponent, either in the Pinstripe Bowl or in the Duke's Mayo Bowl. I don't think we're going to be in the Music City. I don't think we're going to be in the Quick Lane. Guaranteed rate, there's a smaller chance. We played in it last year, so I'm not really sure about that one. I don't think it will happen, but it's still a possibility. I think the most likely thing here is the Duke's Mayo or the Pinstripe, which means against an ACC opponent. My personal preference is the Duke's Mayo Bowl in a warmer climate in North Carolina, and who doesn't want to see P.J. Fleck get some mayo dumped on his head with a win? I think we all do. I think we all do. So the opponents then, I think it comes down to Syracuse, Duke, North Carolina State, or Pitt. Now, if you think about this, North Carolina State or Duke would bring a massive crowd to the Duke's Mayo Bowl in North Carolina. So they're definitely going to be more of a favorable pick for that bowl game. So North Carolina or Duke, North Carolina State or Duke would be probably the likely opponent versus the Gophers in a Duke's Mayo Bowl. And then on the flip side, in the pinstripe, you're probably going to see a Syracuse or a Pitt, both being in that upper east region that would bring well-traveling fans in a very close location. So I think if we land in the pinstripe, it's Syracuse or Pitt. If we land in the Duke's Mayo, it's North Carolina State or Duke or way, way sleeper, Wake Forest. That would be my favorite choice, Wake Forest versus Minnesota in Duke, Duke's Mayo. That being said, if I had to pick one bowl, one choice, one selection, I'm going to say the Gophers head to the Duke's Mayo Bowl versus North Carolina State for their bowl game selection. If it's the pinstripe, I'm going to say the Gophers take on Pitt in the pinstripe bowl, battle of the rushing touchdown leaders, if they both show for the bowl game. And that's where we're at. What do you think? What are your guesses? What are your hopes? Drop them in the comments. Feel free to subscribe if you like the channel. If you stuck around this far, thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. And we've got more to come. We've got so much Gopher talk, so be sure to hit subscribe. I appreciate you. Kane Rob signing off. This is Locked On Golden Gophers. Be sure to give a five-star review wherever you get your podcast. Sky Iba, row the boat, go Gophers. I set it out of order. I know that. But enjoy the day.